Hello guys, welcome back to SanVFX. Today in this lesson we'll be learning about wavelet turbulence and post-processing in FilmFX. So let's begin by creating a simple scene. First of all, let's go ahead and create a FilmFX container. Let me create a simple container. Okay, and let me just um, increase the height a bit. Then let me go to helper down to film effects simple source put it level okay then let me go to film effects UI then add in my source and another thing I want to do is I don't want to simulate fuel because mm, I can simulate more faster while simulating only smoke uh, rather than simulating fuel as well and for the demonstration we only need smoke also okay let me just um, bump up the quality a bit up the spacing reduce that down and then let me set up my paths for my cache data okay for this one I'll go to default first of all let me just clear all those data mm, FX cache control A delete Post processing control A delete. Okay, these were the previous data that I I have been using. So let me just uh, set all my paths properly. Okay, FilmFX cache data. This one's for default, so on the default. And for Wavelet, I'll be using a Wavelet folder. Save. And for a retimer, that's also uh, post processing. So for that, PP that sort form for post processing. Okay, once that we have done, uh, let me go and just play around a bit so that we get something really uh, interesting. So let me put bump a few values quickly. Okay, then turbulence. Um, okay. Uh, also, I want to turn on this cubic interpolation. And let me go to down here to temperature. Let me bump this up to maybe 750, something like that. And smoke, I want it to be about 10. Okay, and the last thing, I'll just set my rendering value. Oops, sorry. Right click, keyless mode, and gray. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a quick preview. And remember, we are in default sim mode so let me just do a quick sim I'll do about 30 to 40 frame simulation okay I've done about 34 35 frame simulation so let me just um, set my timeline to 35 as well okay and also here we have this uh, output range 35 sorry 35 also playback raise 35 okay so now well we have our def uh, default data into our film FX uh, cast data all 35 okay so next thing uh, what we'll do is uh, add in a quick light these are just for the demonstration purpose so nothing so serious okay let me go to lights Just position, position it a quick way. Okay. Again, go to perspective. Okay. And then I'll go to turn on shadows and reduce shadows for our light. And also shadow parameter, turn on atmospheric shadows. Okay. Then let me go to film effects UI again. And under rendering, down smoke, I'll turn on these two options cast receive shadows and I will add my light into this illumination tab oh, sorry add my light right here okay then now we'll just uh, see how the rendering looks okay let me render a quick scene okay here it is it's looking pretty good okay let me make a clone of it close this one and minimize this one as well now let us do a uh, web simulation but before doing that 
what I need to do is I have to run a default sim once again um, because I missed it before so down here under extra data we have non fluid mapping and wavelet turbulence so I have to check this option and once again run a default simulation then only I'll be able to run a wavelet simulation so I might have done that at the first place but I missed that so let me do it once again let me run a simulation with a uh, wavelet turbulence as an extra detail okay our simulation is almost complete just our last frame left let's wait for a while it took me about seven minutes to do the same so this is we are doing our default simulation with wavelet turbulence as an extra detail. Okay, it's a uh, kind of like similar to the default simulation. Just we added the extra detail as a uh, wavelet turbulence, but the output does not look any difference. Okay, so uh, let me again make a clone of it, and then uh, let us move with our wavelet simulation. So for that you need to move, change your sim mode to wavelet. Do not change this cache to wavelet, otherwise you won't be able to sim because that's um, from where you get get access to your wavelet data. Okay, so now move, put a cache to default and your sim mode to wavelet. Then you can do your wavelet simulation. Okay, click this button and the wavelet simulation will start. It will obviously take some time. So wait for a while. Okay, I'll pause the um, recording and we'll continue back after we are done. Okay, our wavelet simulation is also almost done. So we can also, oops, sorry, we can also see our preview here. Uh, just uh, two frames left. Now uh, let's wait a few seconds, about 17 or 18 seconds almost the uh, time is almost uh, similar but a little bit um, uh, more than our default simulation okay it's done okay one thing I forgot to mention before is that we have this um, wavelet turbulence and post-processing tab in our film effects so from here you can also control uh, some of our settings like grid detail scale uh, it's kind of like uh, this um, detail scale and this are kind of related so it will it means that this spacing is divided by two and that will be the grid uh, grid spacing for our wavelet simulation and you can also exclude some channels like velocity and you have got some fire smoke fuels you can control them individually their strength and thresholds so um, in most cases the default value will pretty much work fine but if you are working s for something intense or something really high resolution then you might want to tr play on with these settings as well okay that uh, we have done our wavelet simulation so we can see we have got our wavelet data as well so let us go ahead and check our space size oh, sorry file size uh, our default simulation has 2.30 gigabytes and I actually did a pretty high res sim it's not too high res but also the data went too high okay and our wavelet data we have got about 500 megabytes so uh, the difference um, in wavelet turbulence is that it adds in some extra details into our smoke so we can see that by rendering into our scene okay let me render out our scene so remember this one's uh, done with wavelet turbulence no sorry this one's the default one because we have not changed our cast from default to wavelet so let me change it to wavelet then let me render my scene our rendering will take a little more time than before but we'll see a much more detail than in our default simulation so you can already see a lot more changes uh, in our wavelet simulations okay so as we move on to default we'll get our default simulation and then if we move to wavelet it will move to wavelet where we'll have a lot more detail so that is what wavelet turbulence it will allow us to add in a 
lot more detail. You can also do that by down here extra detail by fluid mapping, but that's uh, you'll have to do it manually, add in some texture maps and so on. But Wobbly Turbulence, we can just, um, based on few settings, we can get in some extra detail. So that's what is Wobbly Turbulence. Now the next thing, post processing. Okay, post processing, also known as retimer. It allows us to uh, retime our simulations. Um, like we have our, about 35 frames. Or we can even fast our simulation or slow down our simulations as well or we can just uh, exclude few of the channels like velocity and something more smoke or whatever we have that we don't need and then simulate it over default or wavelet and it will also help us in saving the disk space let me show you what I'm talking about if you don't understand okay so now I have this under wavelet cache is on wavelet so if I do a post simulation you can have to go down to post and then the uh, simulation icons changes to something blue okay the post processing I want just to add at 35 and if I do a, a simulation over wavelet you can see that cache is on wavelet let me do that means our post processing will process over the wavelet data that means if we render our post process data then we'll get the exact similar result as we had in wavelet data so let it be done it is uh, pretty much fast but it's taking a little time right now but we are already over 13 frames so just a few minutes uh, let me pause the simulation again okay the post processing is done so let's go ahead and check our post processing folder and let me just uh, see the wavelet that was 507 megabytes and post processing data it's just 71 megabyte so that it saves a lot of space now my cache is on wavelet so let me again render my scene okay actually this was already rendered but let me render it once again okay we have got this detail let me clone this one okay now let me move to post cache and then I guess okay it's already cloned let me again render out my scene okay, it's pretty fast than before okay now we can see that we have the same amount of detail into our post data as well okay so once that we have done post now we can also delete our wavelet data and also our default data okay so that means we just have 71 megabytes of our total data and now we can always be on to our post if we go to a wavelet, we, there won't be any data, I guess. Okay, we are missing because we have just deleted that. But if we go to post, we'll again have that data. So that the same amount of detail we can access through this post cache. So we can again go ahead and render and get the same amount of detail. Okay, here we go. So we just saved about nearly 3 megabytes of space by doing a post processing you can also do that post processing over our default so if you are not doing any wavelet turbulent sim then you can also uh, do a post over our default simulation so this is what uh, uh, wavelet turbulence and post processing is wavelet turbulence allow us to add in more detail into our scene and post processing helps us to actually retime our scene from here like time scale factors if you put this to 2 that means our speed of simulation will be 2 times if you put it to 0 0.5 that means the speed will be just a half so it will be more slower okay I hope you guys um, learned something um, this month for today have a great time we'll see you soon